and he's like chucking all this stuff into our van and even in my head I was thinking there's eggs in there there's eggs in there and I think I even said at one point where's the egg Sun. My name is Michelle. I got to get myself calmed down. I just did another video for something else and whoo, I get a little worked up when I do those videos. This video is about the Walmart, uh, that, they don't call it Instacart. I think that's like an uh, its own app, but the Walmart pickup, I guess. I think so. So, um, the past couple months, we've had some life baloney happening, and just doing pickups seemed like it was a better choice. And so we started this January. This is February. We did it for the first time in January. And the first two times, so I've done it a total of four times. The first two times went really smoothly. Not a problem. They weren't very large orders, though. I think the first order was like $90, and the second order was only like $25 or $26. Really small orders, nothing major. The third time we went was another relatively small order, and thankfully nothing was wrong with the order itself. But when we got to the store... Sorry, that was distracting me in the background for some reason. When we got to the store, it wouldn't let me check in, and I was... I ended up waiting five minutes for, I don't know if it was my phone, I don't know if it was the app, I don't know if it was something on their end, but I literally had to try like seven times before it finally let me check in. And as a matter of fact, I finally, Hubby was with me for that time, and I was like, alright, well I guess I'm going to have to call this number. Thankfully it finally let me check in, and uh, so, you know, all cool, all good, whatever. That was for January. Now for February, I had a considerably larger order and like a $225 order and I mean shopping through the app was no problem it was fairly easy a couple of things like I started what was cool about it and what I do like about it and I think I might still do because then I can just pull up my cart when we're in the store and I can just say okay we need to go get this and this and this but what was cool about it was I could start shopping like two weeks oh yeah this is empty so I put it in the cart which I can still do, just because I have it in the cart doesn't mean we have to finish that process on the app, right? I can still use that as my shopping list when we go to the store. So, um, this time when we went, again, it wouldn't let me check in. It kept saying, I'm having trouble, uh, temporarily not working, check back later. Well, you only have an hour window, at least at our store, to do your pickup. So if you're not there, they cancel the order in your toast and so um had to call the phone number this time and apparently it rings straight to where they store your stuff and hold it until you come pick it up because um I spoke directly to a person I didn't have to go through an operator or anything which was awesome I really thought we were going to do the whole I need to talk to this person in that department and they were going to pass me around to 15 people because I don't think it's been I don't think a normal, a real person has answered the phone to any place you call anymore. So, anyway, that part was nice. But, when he brought the stuff out, he, I was thinking in my head, you know, I have eggs in there and I have crackers in there. Which I know crackers are in boxes, but I still don't like my crackers, like, thrown around. They can still get broken. And, he's like chucking all this stuff into our van and even in my head I was thinking there's eggs in there there's eggs in there and I think I even said at one point where's the eggs like kind of as a hint hey where's the eggs don't break my eggs oh and we have bread and I obviously didn't want my bread smushed and you guys gotta remember that when we shop in store we place things on the belt in a specific order because we know how they want them to end up in the cart so that when we unload them, we know where to put them in the van so they don't get smushed or broken. So anyway, you know, which is the other side of this is you're not loading your own groceries so you, things get smushed and broken. So anyway, you know, we finally get home. We get home. 
we unload everything and even in the haul video you guys saw the haul I say something about I pull out the eggs I'm like oh those feel wet and we you know we Hebs was having a stress moment for some reason he just had this round of severe anxiety and I think it's because we had so much stuff laying all over the living room and he and I don't deal well in those situations I mean he has his chaos but this was overwhelming to deal with right and I think he was just ready to be done and he knew he couldn't be done and so anyway um hold on I just did something and didn't mean to anyway you know so I think you hear me say in that video hey that feels wet well we finally opened up those eggs a couple of days later because we were making turkey salad yeah. excuse me two of those eggs were broken I'm not drinking enough coffee apparently so you know when you're talking six dollars for 18 eggs I don't want any of my eggs broke so there was that part of it and then now <laughs> so then the other part is you don't pick out your own food. I'm a pretty picky produce picker. <laughs> um, for instance, the lettuce. And again, I say this in the haul video. I know I do. I'm sorry, guys. The ucky is really, it's on a roll. I don't know what's going on with it today. It's a, uh, I'm supposed to be getting li sent a list to choose from for the doctors. And anyway, um, the lettuce was like super duper light. Now we haven't dug into the lettuce yet. Um, that's I'm gonna have some of it. To, I want to make stuff to do like lettuce wraps with. I think we might do some lettuce wraps for supper tomorrow night. Uh, like taco lettuce, taco wraps. But anyway, um, so there was you know the super light lettuce, which I wasn't too happy about, and then the bananas. Like those bananas, I know are good two inches shorter than any other banana that was in that store. Like they found, they weren't those little bananas. That's what I call those little ones, bananas. I don't know what they're actually called, but the little bananas are like this long. Plantains are super long. I just want a banana. <laughs> those weren't it. Um, so, you know, there was that. Again, I would not have picked those bananas had I known they were going to be half bananas. And then the other thing that kind of bummed me was you can't do substitute like if you do substitutions I don't know that what they would sub is what I would put as a substitution example we're doing a barbecue chicken cook for his family I need barbecue sauce well the barbecue sauce I had in my cart they didn't have on the shelves and I don't allow substitutions because again I don't know that I'll like what they substitute with um so we didn't get any barbecue sauce and I was like crap you know I have to have barbecue sauce and at this time that was on a Friday and at that point I thought we were still doing the cook that following Sunday which it got postponed by a week which is fine but it was just kind of like hmm I don't know <laughs> it's kind of maddening so you know had to go back in the store anyway to get barbecue sauce um what else they didn't have the hangers I need more hangers they didn't have the hangers didn't get hangers uh, I don't remember there was a few other things but it was just you know I don't know that I would like what they sub with oh my coffee I didn't they didn't have my coffee pods so I didn't get my coffee I had to go back in I mean the cool thing is when we went in it was very less stressful because I had to get like four or five things but then we still had to go in so I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about doing the Walmart shop like that or shopping with any store through their apps and having a, a pickup or a delivery done. Um, it has been extremely helpful for my parents a few times. They've had groceries delivered and in their medical condition and in their health condition, it makes complete logical sense. Um, so far, it's worked out pretty good for her. Now, I do know that one time they left the stuff sitting out they have an attached garage, right? And I left it sitting outside the attached garage instead of taking it to the front door. And thankfully, family showed up within minutes of the getting left because there was milk and ice cream in it. And, <laughs> like, it was, 
like 70 degrees outside, you know, that stuff wasn't going to last very long. So anyway, you guys tell me your thoughts on it, your pros and cons. I think we've decided we're not going to do it again, not for our big shop anyway. Now, if it's something little and it's just a couple of things, then I will probably or maybe use it again. It's just easier, especially if it's a time when I have to go by myself. I hate going into Walmart alone. Um, not that our town is horribly dangerous, but there has been a shooting that happened in our store, and that's why our store will no longer be a 24-hour store, <clears throat> because there was a shooting that occurred during pandemic, by the way, or right before pandemic. Maybe it was right before. Maybe it was during. I don't remember. Anyway, um, so there'll never be a 24-hour store again, but I just don't like going in there alone. I'm, I'm not very good in crowds alone and our Walmart tends to get extremely busy no matter what time of day it is so but for you know a few things it's probably not such a bad thing it's probably still okay I just don't think we'll do it again for when we do our major shop at the beginning of each month I think we're gonna have to go in and just suck it up buttercup so anyway um that's all for this video. Just kind of a what do you guys think and here's my experience with it. I didn't know what to think or, you know, what to expect. Really, honestly, I'm not big into change on stuff like that just because I do like to pick my own produce and I do like to pick, oh, look, they didn't have that flavor of, you know, barbecue sauce, but I can sub it with this and still make it work. Whereas if I'd had somebody else substitute it, they probably would have gotten like the off brand. And I'm very particular about brands on certain things like my barbecue sauce. This is not meant to be a barbecue sauce video. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is, right folks? So that's my thoughts. Um, I'm getting ready to do, I was going to do it today, but we had a situation with my dad again. And if you didn't hear it in the friend mail video, he is fine. <sighs> But I think we finally had a breakthrough that you're done going outside to smoke your cigarettes because that's when you get hurt or nearly hurt. Thankfully, he's not been super hurt. I don't, the angels around him have to be getting exhausted. <laughs> that's all I can say because they're, I know we're getting exhausted. But anyway, so there it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.